Today I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily customize a template within VizMe to create your visual story or visual resume for this contest. All you have to do is insert your own information and your own images into the template and you can start by clicking on this text box here and inserting your own information. Once you do that you can choose from the drop down menu from hundreds of different fonts to apply your own style. So let's say I want to choose this one. I can make the text larger or smaller. I can also apply formatting like making it bold, italic, or underlined. Then I can also apply a color scheme by clicking on this icon and going to the preset tab. Here you're going to find 50 different color schemes that you can choose from. Since these colors are meant to go together, this is easier for you to create a harmonious color scheme for your template. So let's say I want to choose this color scheme here at the top. I can apply any of these colors here and then I can choose the other different elements on my template and apply the other colors in this same scheme. So I can do that like so. And this makes it a lot easier for you to create a harmonious color scheme. Then I can insert my own images by simply going to these and eliminating them. I can click on here delete and then I can insert my own by going here to the image icon on the left toolbar and you see that you have two different options. You can either upload your own image from your computer or you can search for an image within the databank. So we can simply put in a search term, for example, like let's say I've traveled to Washington DC and I want to find an image related to that. So you see all the options here and you simply click on one of them to insert it onto your template or your project. And then you can also click on this tab, the frames tab, so that you can choose any of these geometric shapes and this will actually crop your image as this shape. So let's say I want to make it into a square with rounded corners. I can do that here. And then I can click apply to apply this shape to my picture. I can then resize it and reposition it as needed. And then if I want to find an icon, let's say I want to replace this icon with another one, I can go to the icon here on my left toolbar and then I put in the search term Let's say I want to find something related to sports. So then I type in the search term and then I see all the different options come up and to insert it onto my stage, I simply click on it and you see it appear and then you can make it larger or smaller and apply the different color schemes depending on what you want. You can either choose from this top one or you can search for other colors here. Then I can also go down here and I can insert a video. I can go to this icon here, the video icon, and I simply paste the URL of the video that I want to insert into my project. And I can also activate the autoplay option so I can have it play automatically when I view it in preview mode or in publish mode. So I click done and then you see it inserted into your project. You can resize it as needed and reposition it. And then if I want to insert a visualization, let's say of information or data, let's say I want to visualize how much time I spend um, working, for example, I can choose any one of these uh, visualizations that are called infograph widgets. I simply click on them and you see them appear on your stage. You can then resize them and you can insert any data point here. So let's say I want to insert here that I spend 55% of my time working, for example, I can visualize information this way. Another thing that you can do to visualize your interest is using this infograph widget that's called the ribbon. So I simply insert it onto my stage. I can make it slightly larger and I can insert text here. So for example, let's say I want to compare my favorite hobbies and interests. So I say I like to, for example, dance. So that's my favorite hobby, so I place that at 100%, and then I copy this and place one below it, and I change the color scheme, and insert here, for example, my next favorite hobby is reading. And then I can make it slightly smaller than the previous one, copy this and place another one below it, and let's say my next favorite hobby is sports. So this way you can create a fun visualization that really depicts what your favorite hobbies are relative to each other. Finally, if you want to narrate your resume or your visual story, you can also go to this icon here, the audio icon, 
And then you can either add your own audio file here, or you can choose from any of these free audio files and place them as background music. So when people view your project, they're going to hear this background music. Or you can also choose this option to record your own audio. And this way you can narrate your resume or narrate your visual story by telling people each of these different sections. So that's another option that you have. So once you're completely happy with your project and you wanted to enter the contest, all you have to do is go to this button at the very top of the screen and press publish. When you do that, you'll see this URL up here. So you can either copy and paste it so you can share it on social media or you can press this button to view it on another tab in your browser. And so you're going to really want to get the word out and have your families and your friends share this project because the top 30 most voted projects are going to enter the final round. So I wish you the best of luck, and if you have any questions or any doubts, don't hesitate to contact us on our homepage, visme.co, through the support section, or you can also contact us on social media through Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Thank you very much for watching this video.